we have to be very careful that indeed we do not permanently damage the earth and uh, create problems that we cannot deal with in the years to come. By 2050, we have to reduce CO2 level by 50%. And I don't see how we can do that unless we start eliminating internal combustion engines. The essence of the idea is very simple. The idea is not to carry energy on the vehicle, which is done normally by, in the form of gasoline or something else. So what we're trying to do is supply energy as needed externally by supplying power to the underground cable. So we put this cable under the ground and the power is generated. It goes to the pickup unit, in this case on the bus without any wire. It's a wireless transmission of very large amount of electric power. Right now we are transmitting somewhere around 64, 65 kilowatts. It's not easy to, for one person to go out underneath and install it. It's like a if you use ferrite boats, we have to talk together. I have some ideas. <laughs> Our power transfer is very efficient. Uh, we are now achieving around 85% power transfer we are transmitting 65 to 100 kilowatts of power, which is a lot of power. We are very, very successful in doing that. This presentation as well, that we don't need to lay the full track, but it's only 30% or something like that. We need to lay. And then there is a, the charging It really is a great idea. And if it works, I mean, it's, it's, I, 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 I will be following up this develop, development. The ideas led with KAIST was quite successful, I thought. It exceeded, in fact, my expectation. The room was full of people and very alive, with engaging audience and engaging um, attendees. There were a lot of questions and good questions. If we can uh, achieve our goals, I think they make a tremendous difference. The way we do science, the way we live, and the way we cooperate, and the way we develop economy.